Okay, we're going to go on to the advanced mode number two. Press your power button and again press your gate and mode button at the same time and wait until it says advanced two and release it. Then you have uh, a menu display uh, and this is where you would enter your velocity factor of your coax and to change the velocity factor of your coax you either press the mode button to decrease it or press the gate button to increase it and then whenever you have the velocity factor entered uh, you press both the gate and the mode button at the same time and then you get uh, you come to the first menu and this displays uh, the dis distance default of course we don't have a fault here on this uh, this system another th but you could uh, could measure that if you did have a fault in your coax uh, then you if you press the mode button you can measure your line length in degrees so uh, this is showing that my line length is 63 feet in deg or 63 degrees and again it changes as you change the frequency up and down then you can measure your line length in feet I'm not sure what if I entered the uh, correct uh, Velocity factor for this coax. This is RG8X, uh, but um, again, you get your line length in feet, uh, and again, it changes as you change your frequency. I know that this is probably uh, more like uh, 50 foot of coax connected to this, so I probably don't have the correct uh velocity factor entered into the uh, calculation here that it's using and then the mode button again gets you back to the velocity factor and to exit out of this you turn the power off